Now, on to the mechanics. An electric guitar works like this. A magnet and coil assembly called a pickup works like a mini microphone. It picks up the sound vibrations of the strings and sends them to an amplifier which sends them to a speaker which emits that trademark electric guitar sound. Before installing the electronic components though, a few final steps. After a six week curing period, they wet sand the painted and lacquered wood. Then buff until the surface is so glossy, it produces a mirror finish. Then they polish it with wax. If the frets aren't level, the guitar will buzz. So workers color the top of each fret with a marker, then run a sheet of fine sandpaper down the fingerboard. The ink rubs off on any frets that are higher than the rest and have to be filed down. But filings flatten the frets edges, so workers round them off using a special curved file. Then with very fine sandpaper, they buff away the filing marks. They clean the fingerboard with mineral oil. This also nourishes the rosewood so that it won't dry out and crack. Now they turn an Allen key in the truss rod to straighten out the neck. This gauge measures the curve. When the needle hits zero, the neck is perfectly straight. Now the six tuning keys, one for each string. Depending on the model, these steel keys are plated with either gold or nickel or painted black. You turn the black acrylic peg to tighten or loosen the string for tuning. Workers use a digital gauge to measure the height of the nut, a thin piece of either bone or very hard plastic, with six slots to space the strings. If it isn't in precisely the right position, tuning will be off and the strings will buzz. Now the neck is ready to join the body courtesy of four bolts driven from the back of the instrument. They fit into those round metal fixtures we saw in the previous segment. And now the electronic components. Workers begin by soldering control knobs for the volume and tone to the pickup selector switch. The switch that activates any of the pickups, sets of magnets with wire coiled around them. Like miniature microphones, they pick up the sound vibrations entering their magnetic field transform them into electronic signals, which then go out to the amplifier and speaker. One pickup will be just above the bridge, a brass piece that anchors the other end of the strings. The pickup has one magnet and wire coil for each string. Standard electric guitars don't have a pickup at the bridge, but this model has one to enable the instrument to also sound like an acoustic guitar. You can even use the electric and acoustic sounds together. Workers drill holes in the body for installing the bridge using a template as a guide. They attach the bridge with screws. Then install the bridge pickup just above it and the body and neck pickups above that. Then they flip it over and hook up what's called the tremolo, a lever activated set of steel springs that temporarily loosen the guitar strings. The musician uses the tremolo on select notes and chords to create a quivering effect, that distinctive electric guitar sound. The volume and tone knobs come next, tucked into a cavity in the back, then secured to the front with a nut. Now the pickup selector switch. It also comes through the back to the front of the instrument. Then they add the last electronic component, a jack for the cable going to the amplifier. They plug in the cable and flicking the selector switch, do a tap test on each pickup. Now it's time to string the guitar. They pull the steel strings from the back through the bridge in the front. Then wind them onto the tuning keys using a drill with a special adapter. Then it's into a soundproof booth to tune the guitar with the help of a digital tuner. And then it's played for the first time.